everyone, welcome back to Budget with Sauce UK. Today's video is my Aldi haul. My, as you're all aware, watching uh, previous videos, I try to stick to around about £40 in food shopping each week. Some people say, how do you do it? Some people say, wow, that's amazing. Give us some tips. So anyway, in my family, there is a family of five, but actually family of four, because one of my children are at university, but she comes home at weekends. So at the weekends, it's for five. Uh, during the week, it's four of us. We all work every day. Um, some work from seven o'clock leave the house at seven o'clock in the morning and don't come back till nine o'clock at night. Um, my son works shift work. I work in a school where so I'm school hours. Uh, my hobby, he works when he can work. Um, just due to his medical conditions, he could be away from anything from six o'clock in the morning to late at night. He could only be away a couple of hours. It all just depends anyway. But we'll go into that in another video we have had as i say people asking us to show our aldi haul right i shop in aldi mostly every week mostly i shop in aldi that's where i shop i do go to other places maybe ask it if something isn't in aldi or like i'll go to the pound shop to buy my cleaning stuff because i find it's cheaper there and you're getting things like Dettol and flashing all for a pound um home bargains it just depends i'm a type of person that goes from shop to shop but my main food shop is in aldi so this week i've went and did my aldi shop um yes i did go over budget it was 45 pounds odd pence but I will explain that in, in the next video when I do my next check-in, where I've took the money from for that. Also, um, you will see that there isn't sort of much meat in the shopping. That's the reason why we're not vegetarians or anything like that. We're not like that. The reason for that is every couple of months we go down to Wales to well to obviously when we're down at wheels at our caravan but it's every couple of months we go to this uh meat factory well it's not it's a wholesaler's meat and we go in and we just buy bulk so we'll get it like um we'll get chicken breasts we'll get gammon we'll get beef we'll get um Sometimes mince, depending if they have it. We'll get um, bacon, sausages, burgers. It all depends what's their thing um, at the time. Because they do email me and tell me when they've got special offers on. And that's when we do go. But in my budget, you don't see a budget for that. Because I don't pay for that. My husband pays for that. So you're talking about, we get round about £200 worth of meat for anything between 65 to 100 pound and we get quite a lot which then lasts us for a couple of months maybe longer just depends how much we got that time and what i do is when we buy it i come home split it all into freezer bags label it all date it all and that's the way i do it but anyway further ado I'm going shopping now to Aldi. I will pop back and I will go through everything I've bought and the prices. I will write, so you will see some black markers on it because I will write the prices on it. It's easier than me having to go down the receipt. But most of the prices I do know um, offhand. But anyway, let's go and I will see you shortly. Okay, everyone, as we've had this, so we'll go through it. I have wrote the prices on everything, so it's easier than rather 
keep them going back to the receipt. So I bought one kilogram, I think, yeah, of this beautiful buttery spread. It's 125. Chicken gravy granules. 85 pence. Some jam, which was 28p. We go through jam like I don't know what. Skim milk, uh, 115. It's really only me has the milk. And years and years ago, I went on to skim milk when I started up. I think it was a Slimming World. And from then, I've never went back to anything else. I can't taste the difference in all on the milks. But because it's only really me, so I just get that. It usually lasts me over a week for it is. Then some mayonnaise, squeezy mayonnaise, 8 99 or 8 99 89 pence. Some lemonade, that lemonade. My husband goes through... He likes it, but he changes his from water to lemonade because he doesn't drink tea, coffee or anything like that. So, so I just got him four bottles of the lemonade and the way he drinks it, he doesn't mind the cheaper version. Uh, honeydew melon, 95p. I've spoke to everybody, says we need to start eating more fruit. So they said they wanted melons and apples and stuff. So got that. These twin pots. They're like um like the flake ones and the buttons ones, the cabbage ones, but that's it. They're 189 usually in Asta for the normal ones are usually over two pounds, nearly hitting three pounds. Uh quarter pound burgers, chicken burgers, two quarter pounds, ninety-nine pence. And my husband likes these chicken Kievs, which is four for one ninety nine. So he'll get about four meters out of that. Then we go over to the packet rices. I just like to have these rices in. My son, he would cook some chicken and throw it into the egg rice or the peely rice. So they're 35p each for a packet. Grated cheese, 2 49 Yes, I buy the Aldi ones because, again, we go through cheese. like, And it's no different than any other cheese. So then British honey roast ham. These are for sandwiches for my son's pack lunch when he's at work. And also we can use it doing cheese toasties, etc. Then we come down to that is one sixty nine, and then we go to grapes. One forty nine for this mixed grapes. Some like the black, some like the the green. So we decided to get the thing. Then golden delicious apples, one nineteen, and then we come over to the cherry tomatoes, forty eight pence for these only me in the house that eats tomatoes so i'm happy enough whatever make they are with that iceberg lettuce 43 pence and then we've got a cucumber at 43 pence then i did i shouldn't have done it but we do like now and again some dips so we got these dips these are usually seasonal in aldi so we got some of them it's 175 then mints to make some spaghetti bolognese it was one pounds 59 for that then a fajita kit i do like to make some fajitas when kit was home for the weekend she all makes some fajitas and stuff like that so that gets 160 149 and then some chicken stock cubes which i've ran out of 35p for 12 and then stuffing on a sunday we always have stuffing so again, that is only, I think it was 20, 29p for the stuffing. Then we'll come across to the Yorkshire puddings. I can make these myself, but I just thought, oh, it's easy enough for 50 pence. These, these would do us probably twice because it, they do all do like Yorkshire puddings. So 50 pence for these. Then some wonky potatoes, 89 pence. Some peppers, 96 pence. So we'll use them for in the fajitas, salads, whatever, things like that. Then I decided that I'm going to do some casseroles, do casseroles and do some stews for this week. So casserole mush, so got casserole mush, you have potatoes, uh, I don't know, sweet turnip as we call it in Belfast, bell, 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 turnip carrots, some leeks. In that so that will go into it and i will add some more potatoes into it 
Then a stir fry. We're gonna have this tonight. For sure, yes, 30% 30, 30 off because it's ready to go. It's tomorrow's date. No, yeah, tomorrow's date. So 97 pence for that. I got it. They are usually one pounds forty-nine, I think roughly around about that price. But yeah, I got it for 97 pence. And as I say, we're going to stir fry. We I got some of a stir fry sauce. Again, 38 pence for that. Just throw that into the stir fry. And then a beef casserole mixing seasoning mix, just to give it a bit more flavouring. Again, it's only two girls and myself will eat that. Richard doesn't eat anything with gravy in it. So that's just us. So again, that was only 19 pence for that. Coronation chicken deli filler. I like this. 125 for this. So I like this on baked potatoes. So I'll have that for a lunch or I'll put it into some wraps and have it in a wrap for work. And take it to work. Then we come across to some biscuits. Packet of digest. That's 31 pence. Rich tea, 29 pence. They're just the same as McVitie's to me. Biscuits are biscuits. And then we have some, we call them Jai, 62 pence. They're just the same as Twix. Again, they're for pack lunches. And racers, the same as, well, I used to call them Marathon. Used to call them Marathon. Snickers bars, 62 pence for six bars. Again, that will be pack lunches. Mini rolls, 89p for 10 rolls. The cabbage ones you're talking near two pound for just five, is it? In Asta, so yeah, they just keep the same. And then some rice cakes. Alexander likes these rice cakes, so one nineteen for three packs of three in each, and they're all individually wrapped. Then we come to wraps. I say we go through wraps quite a bit. Some make some wraps with chicken and everything all in it, with it's rice. Obviously more just for pack lunches. So 75p, so we've got two packs of them. And then the they top of that bread. So again, they do like that for just a snack. And then we come across to the bread. So we've got three bread loaves of bread. They're 55p each. Best of both worlds. I like wholemeal. My hobby likes white so we'll go into in between and we have that and then i do love some fruit bread i'm the only person that likes this so i do treat myself now and again for this so fruit bread so what i'll do is i'll divide it up put some into the freezer and just lift out when i need it then we've got some bagels the fruit bread obviously it was 75 pence some bagels Again, they are 99 pence. Alex will have them and we'll have them for breakfast toasted. Cocoa chips, 45p. I get there for the dips, so we'll have that. And then I buy the big bag, multi bag of crisps, £2.59. They usually last us for two, three weeks, just depends on how much again. And then my hubby did ask for, they were a wee bit battered. Some chocolate eclairs, 75 pence, and some egg custard tarts, and they're 85 pence. So yes, so this is all what we got on our Aldi haul, as you can see again. Yes, there isn't much meat, as you can see, or things, but I do have quite a lot of chicken and sausages and stuff like that, steak, all in the freezer, because... We do every couple of months go to um, a meat factory down in Wales when we go and hubby pays for that all so we do get it about must be about £200 worth of meat for round for about £100 so yeah I just bring that back bag it all up data and then put it in the freezer and use it in. so anyway for this Aldi haul I had budget £40 for my weekly thing my weekly budget is grocery shopping and it came to 45 pounds 37 pence yes i did go over by 5 pounds 37 but i did use some of my own spending money for that um when i do my 
budget, my breakdown of my budget, I might have reined in money elsewhere. But yeah, I use that. But yeah, that is our Aldi haul for the week. And it cost £45.37. So not bad for Aldi. And, and that usually does, there's five of us in this house. We're out all day. There's only really meals in the evening and at the weekends. So yes, so anyway, let's go. And if you have any comments, any questions, please do so. If you're a subscriber, please subscribe. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe and hit the notification because we'd love you to be there and if you were a returning subscriber thank you very much for watching the aldi haul well until the next time bye for now and if there's anything else you'd like to notice or find out about please please message bye everyone